Okay guys, this is the workout for Saturday, January 9th, and I've got Coach Kenneth in the house today. He's gonna do the demo for me. Um, the first little warm-up that we're gonna do for the hips, of course this being lower body, is going to be a single leg hip thrust. So remember on this, very important that we get full hip extension. Not overextension through the, through the lower back, right? We don't want to pinch the lower back. So we want to pull the belly towards the floor, but we want to, we want to squeeze the bum as hard as you can at the top. So we get that full hip extension. This is often missed when people do this weighted. Okay, so you're gonna do one leg for 40 seconds and then we're gonna follow it up with the other leg for 40 seconds. Next, we're gonna hit some barbell back squats. So remember, we wanna set the bar just below shoulder. So you can see right there on Ken, it's just below his shoulder here. This ensures that we can get the bar off and on with ease. The last thing we wanna do is have to struggle to get the bar up on the rack. Uh, you know, when we've got a heavy load on the bar. So, barbell back squats. Ken's gonna set his feet up to what feels comfortable for him. Generally speaking, I like to say about shoulder width or maybe slightly wider with the toes pointed slightly outwards, but not too much because we do wanna be able to externally rotate at the hip. And in order to do that, we don't wanna have the, the, the legs too externally rotated. So, Ken's gonna squat down. He's gonna try to get those upper legs parallel to the floor. Beautiful. That's a pretty deep squat right there. And back up, of course, we wanna make sure we squeeze the glutes at the top. Also, notice the bar sitting on Ken's back is below that C7, that cervical prominence, that little bony part that you can feel at the base of your neck. The bar sits below that, so it's a little more comfortable, okay? Also, watch his elbows. When he comes up from the bottom here, he's gonna shoot those elbows forward. He's gonna drive through the outsides of his feet and his heels. And when he goes to rack it, he's gonna stand tall and he's gonna walk it straight in and rack it. Notice he lets it hit and then he comes down, right? So nice and safe there. Awesome, okay, so exercise number three, we're gonna do a dumbbell Bulgarian. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, on those squats, you're doing six sets of seven and you're gonna go for two to two, you're gonna go every two to two and a half minutes, okay? So as you get to those heavier sets, wait the two and a half minutes, okay? Your lighter sets, you can go every two minutes. Uh, start off with about 50% of your eight rep max. Bulgarians here. So we're gonna throw one foot back on the bench. We can go with the top of the foot on the bench or we can go with the toes on the bench. I prefer the toes because my, my foot tends to cramp. Um, but you can go in this version too if, if you're okay with it, okay? So, Ken's gonna just choose whichever way he wants to do it. So he's gonna go back with that other leg. And he's gonna drop down. We're gonna get to about 90 degrees to the knee, maybe slightly less, okay? And then we're gonna come up to the top here. Good, almost full extension, but not quite. And I want you guys to try to keep moving throughout the movement. We're gonna do three sets of 12 on this. And guys, I'm gonna suggest that you start with about 25 to 30 pounds, and ladies, uh, somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds to start with, okay? I'd like you to go every two and a half minutes on this one, okay? Fourth exercise. We're gonna do a pistol squat. So the pistol squat, I'm gonna have you guys go every one and a half minutes. And uh, this is a version that you can do right here where you can use the cage to aid you. Um, ideally, we wanna go all the way down to the bottom, but if you've got bad knees or you've got some sort of limitation um, or you're not strong enough, um, that's okay. You're gonna just do partial. But you can see Ken coming all the way down here. And Ken is probably not really using much of the cage for anything more than balance, okay? We certainly don't want you using the cage to help yourself out too much. A little bit's okay. Um, if you can't, if you, if you find you need a lot of help on this, just limit your range of motion, okay? So don't go down as far. Fifth exercise. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's gonna show us here with the bench, okay? So, 
if you feel really weak on this, especially if you find that the, the knee is diving towards the midline of the body, the, the inside of the body, um, set yourself up with a bench and just sit down to bench level here, okay? We're gonna do three sets of 10 on each leg. Again, going every one and a half minutes. So, you're gonna do both legs within that one and a half minutes, period. Okay, lastly here, we're gonna do a little super set. Uh, we're gonna do four rounds of side, sorry, hanging side knee tucks. So Ken's gonna pull his knees up nice and high here, side to side. Now notice too, he lets those hips, he pulls those hips really high and forward, okay? And so the reason we want you to do this, as opposed to say doing a shorter version of this, Ken, you want to just quickly show it, just a, just come up to your when your legs are parallel to the floor, okay? There's a chance that when you do it this way, you're not going to bring those hips forward. You're going to stay in an anterior pelvic tilt type position, which means you're just going to use more of your hip flexors. We don't want to do that. We want to use more of the um, basically the sides of your abdomen, okay? More of your obliques and serratus. Okay, we're gonna superset that with a plank walkout. Again, 10 reps here. Five seconds? Five second, five second hold? Five second hold. No, no, just, they could just walk it out. Just, just a brief pause is good enough. And just walking out, again, 10 reps on this. And that is all, okay? Four rounds, there is no time limit on this. So just go with as much time as you need, but try to do it as, you know, as reasonably fast as you can. Awesome. Thank you, Coach Ken.